On January 13th, 1968, Johnny Cash made history when he walked into Folsom State Prison in California with a mission to record a live album that would change the course of music forever. The prison, with its imposing stone walls and heavy iron gates, it was a perfect setting for Johnny Cash, a man whose music had always been infused with a sense of rebellion and outlaw spirit. As he stepped onto the stage, surrounded by the prison's hardened inmates, Johnny Cash was ready to give a performance that would go down in history. The songs he had chosen were a mix of his own hits and some classic covers that day, but the one that would come to define the album was his very own, Folsom Prison Blues. The song is about a country rockabilly tune that tells the story of a fictitious inmate at Folsom Prison. And this inmate longs to escape by taking to a nearby train, hopping on it, and riding all the way to San Antonio. Cash wrote the song in 1953, actually, while serving in the Air Force over in Germany. He was inspired to write it after watching the film Inside the Walls of Folsom Prison. Folsom Prison Blues was one of Johnny Cash's most well-known songs of all time. And the line, but I shot a man in Reno just to watch him die became one of country music's most famous lines ever. He recorded the song in 1954 at Sun Records, a well-known Memphis music studio owned and operated by Sam Phillips. Phillips discovered and recorded influential artists like Elvis Presley, Jerry Lee Lewis, and Howlin' Wolf. As Johnny Cash began to play that day, the inmates, they were immediately drawn in. They could relate to the lyrics and the raw emotion in Johnny's voice. They sang along and clapped to the beat. They completely got caught up in the energy of the moment. His band, the Tennessee Three, provided backup during the sets, and Carl Perkins was also on stage that day. The Statler brothers performed Flowers on the Wall and This Old House with Johnny, and his wife, June Carter Cash, joined him on stage for Jackson and Give My Love to Rose. Glenn Shirley, an inmate of Folsom, even got the chance to perform his own song, Greystone Chapel. At the end of the show, Johnny Cash and his band performed twice that day, once in the morning and once in the afternoon, and the energy in the prison was electric. The inmates, they were laughing and cheering, completely caught up in the music and the moment. Even the guards started tapping their feet and enjoying the show at a certain point. But the performance wasn't just a celebration of music. It was also a powerful statement against the injustice and harshness of the prison system. Cash's message of hope and redemption resonated with the inmates, and it's something that they would never forget. In May 1968, after the album was recorded, it was released, and it was an instant success. It debuted at number one on the top country charts and number 13 on the pop album charts, and it was certified gold October of that year. Cash even received two Grammy Awards for his live album at Folsom State Prison. The album not only cemented Johnny Cash's status as a country music legend, but it also shed light on the harsh realities of prison and the importance of giving hope and a voice to those who are often forgotten by society. It was a powerful and memorable moment in music history, and it's a story that still resonates with people today. These are Interesting Things with J.C.